So, it's the store up. Here it is. It comes in two boxes. Um, you know, here's the helicopter, as uh, somebody, one of the shippers said. It's like, I think it's a helicopter. I said, no, not a helicopter. But, uh, pretty cool. Okay. No forks. And there's the uh, um, wing struts. And I'm guessing everything else is inside. Inside the, uh, the box that needs to be any hardware or anything like that. Looking forward to unboxing it here in a little bit. I got my wings over here. I think I took a video of this, but of course, you know, the wing hanging up. And we'll unbox it soon. Pretty, pretty pumped. Sign root tube. <laughs> Do I? No. I was kind of expect. Oh, there it is. Yes, it is. So Nikki signed it. And who else signed it? Somebody else signed it. This is kind of a Dylan. All right. A couple guys there. Nikki and and those guys signed the root tube. Thank you, both. I appreciate it. Um, and looking forward to getting into this stuff, so I appreciate your time and effort into this. Bell cranks, um, you know, obviously the hardware boxes, cushions, black cushions for it. Um, got the, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, the windshield, and uh, everything's looking great. This is cool. Yeah, yeah, three boxes. It's true. This is going to be awesome. I'm excited. Yeah. Okay, today I just uh, unboxed everything. Um, actually, it was yesterday, but just kind of setting some things up to kind of take a look. I don't see my inventory sheets, which um, you know you kind of want to always check your inventory when it comes. So it's probably buried in here someplace. I just didn't see it. Um, hopefully, I didn't throw it away. Uh, I got a lot of boxes that I put put up. But um, anyway, yeah, it's um, this is just uh, uh, what everything looks like. The big long box right here. You've got a ton of group group sections in here. So those are your your uh, nose cone attachment sheets. You know, landing gear stuff, push pull tubes. Uh, wing struts, you got uh, looks like rudder trim pieces in there, shock cord, uh, landing gear pieces, bunch of hardware, and you know um, brackets and so on and so forth, bell cranks and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, a lot of a lot of things in there. Um, I'm kind of looking for the tires uh, in the in the wheel rims. Maybe those will come later. I don't have those. I threw the cushions in there. Cushions came on the fuselage, and then uh, of course the nose cone there. And yeah, just taking a look at this thing, I've got um, gonna bolt on the vertical stabilizer that came inside the fuselage too yesterday. So um, I just have it sitting in there, but we'll put that in. Um, I put on the uh, the um, hand grips, so I just put those on. They pretty much slid on. I think you can use a little bit of soapy water to get them going, but. But that was good and uh, yeah you can see kind of some of these attachments like the you know the rotor pedal push-pull tubes there and then, you know you got your aileron uh, movement elevator so it's, it's good stuff it's, it becomes really assembled 
So I'm putting on the vertical stabilizer and uh, I'm just removing this, this bolt in here. This came pre-assembled, so just taking off this little assembly there and I'm gonna slide it in. Um, same over here, that one was removed and they're all down here. So I'll just set them like that and then take the vertical stabilizer, which you don't, you can cover it later with fabric, so, but I'm just gonna have to find the sweet spot here. And so that'll go in here. And Tom, I just talked to him on the phone. He said, the secret is moving the sawhorses. So if I need to move sawhorses, I can. Um, it's a little hard to hold, hold the phone while I'm doing this, but, so that slides in there. And then this one will slide in. And then of course it'll rest right on that, that bar. So this is, this is good stuff, man. This is good stuff right here. Super excited to put this stuff on. Right, Kate? She helped me. She helped me throw the sawhorses on. And let me hold that real quick while I work on this guy. So the trick is to see that's right there. Look at that. You film that, isn't that cool? So that's resting up there. And I think the it's fine in the sweet spot with the Ooh, okay, I see that. Interesting. So we've got to make sure that that, oh, you know what I probably should do is cut this right here so that I can, that's the push-pull tube for uh, the elevator, aileron elevator. So that's there. And so I've got to remove this um, zip tie. And then that will, will enable me to move and kind of flex this up. Although this will, this can rest on my sawhorse. Yes. So, um, well, that's the other push pull tube that we're gonna um, use to attach to that. Ooh, don't move so quick on that. That makes people sick. So just nice and easy. And my things over there, my uh, exacto knife. So I'll get that later. But anyway, you guys get the gist of this thing. So that's how that's gonna go. Thank you, Kate. All right. Cut that. Go ahead and remove that for me, would you? And then we can get this thing kind of finagled up in here. And there it is. It's starting to settle in a little bit, maybe. Maybe. Okay, I'll come back and show you. All right, vertical stabilizer's on. Uh, bolts through. Just had to kind of wiggle around. Had to move this grommet a couple times to you know, just to align it up there. And that one got kind of tricky. So this bar is flexible, so I could bend it down and put the grommet like up against here and then make it flush and then had to use the mallet to kind of mallet it up in place, but got it. Just took a little bit of time.